Thanks for sticking with us, gang. On April 9th is the Atlantic Classic Championship Bodybuilding and, and Figures. It's at the Casino NB. Uh, with us is uh, Jean Leblanc and Heather Leblanc. Thank you so much for coming on the show. You're welcome. Um, okay, they just gave me their titles, so I'm going to run through this. Uh, Jean is the... Uh, co-promoter of the event. That's right. And uh, Heather, you're also the president of the NB uh, uh, Physiques and, F and Fitness. Did yes, get that right? the New Brunswick Physique and Fitness Association. Close. Uh, thanks so much for coming on the show, gang. Really appreciate it. So this is a bodybuilding competition, essentially? It's a bodybuilding uh, bikini physique figure association different categories in the fitness world. So different categories for people that are just taking a fantastic care of their body and really doing some uh, some things that I would never be able to do. It takes a special person to accomplish this feat. Well, you would know. You were one of the f you were the first one to win uh, uh, this this championship. That's correct. I was the first one to win the uh, it was called Maritime Championships then which became the Atlantic Classic in 1978. And <coughs> in two years, it'll be our 40th anniversary. Wow. This year will be our 38th year in existence. And it will be our 10th year, Heather and I, as promoters of the Atlantic Classic. Wow. Wow, that's got to be, uh, especially you seeing it kind of grow from then, that must be uh, quite, uh, quite, a, quite a story. It's come a long ways. When we took over 10 years ago, there was between 45 and 50 athletes. Last year, we had... 234 athletes. Wow. That's this amazing. year we'll have between 230 to 50 athletes and 26 different uh, categories. Wow. That is amazing. I would imagine that through all that, you must have seen a huge change in the way the sport um, is, is, is done. Just, just the way that the, the different equipment, the way that people are able to really work their bodies now. There must be a complete, a, a big change, I would say, from, from 30 years ago. Yeah, so w well, when we started uh, 38, 40 years ago, uh, we, we were like the, uh, <coughs> the first ones, the pioneers of the sport. So we didn't know a whole lot about nutrition. We didn't know a whole lot about training. And we had to uh, learn whatever we could from people, let's say, outside of our country, and you did that a lot by traveling. I've learned a lot of things when I traveled uh, in other countries and when I competed. Yes, it's come a long ways, and today, our athletes here just locally have trainers. Uh, they have uh, a lot of nutritional experts helping them out. They have people helping them out with their posing, uh, it, it's and with their training as well. So it's a whole new ball game. There's a lot of people involved now. For sure. I want. We have some some photos up here. I want to uh, just show some pictures of uh, of some of the athletes here. Look at that. That's exactly what I look like uh, when I roll out of bed in the morning. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, so let, while while we have a look at a little bit of these pictures, tell me uh, maybe Heather, you could tell me a little bit about um, the changes in, in in things like nutrition and stuff. How important is that now compared to uh, what it would have been? Well, it's very important. Um, I'm a personal trainer, and uh, I can tell you that uh, it takes a lot of uh, discipline, willpower, sacrifice. Um, I guess the main part of the whole competition process is that it's 80% diet. Is no that question. right? 80% diet. So more than more than being in the gym and and, and working with the weights or whatever it is. It's, it's really what you put in your body. But, you know, in the same uh, context, the training is very important. Um, you're not going to change your body and you're not going to sculpt your muscle uh, the way you want it to look unless you're training unless you're doing heavier, well, harder. I, I just think that, that that would still be kind of eye-opening for some people who think like, okay, well, I know if I want to be healthy, I need to exercise. That's it. I just need to exercise. But now we, there really seems to be a bigger focus on, it's not just the exercise. Obviously, you have to be active if you mm -hmm. want to be healthy, but you have to eat well. And yeah. for what you guys do, that, that would be such a big, uh, big component of it. Absolutely. Like, and the preparation that the athletes have to go through daily, you know, preparing eight lunches a day and right. all in containers. Well, give us, give us an idea. Give us a rundown. What, what does an athlete, preparing for this event, mm -hmm. let's say, a few, you know, whatever the, the time frame is, a few weeks prior to so that they are their tip-top shape and ready to, to compete, mm -hmm. what is the process that they would be going through? Um, basically, the process would be to get your appointments all booked for your tanning and your hair and your makeup, for the girls anyway. Um, 
training at least five days a week. Some, some even train six days a week. Some train twice a day. Some do cardio twice a day. It just depends on the shape that they're in and how much weight they need to lose for their show. Um, as well, um, also it's very important to learn how to pose correctly. Uh, we have uh, five different uh, divisions. We have uh, figure and bikini, um, which are all different mandatory poses that they need to work on. Um, so presentation is very important, um, as well as the bodybuilding poses. Uh, and women's physique is another category that we're trying to get strong again. It's replaced women's bodybuilding. So um, I'd have to say that usually competitors will start anywhere between 16 to 12 weeks out preparing for a show. And wow. uh, it's hell. <laughs> it's, it's, it's real hell. It's not, not pleasant at all. Yeah. I got tired just listening to you talk about working out twice a day for your six days a week. I just, I just want to take a nap just now. Yeah. It just seems so much. Each individual is, is a different format. Some people will start their prep six months out, depending on what type of shape they're in at the moment. Some people it's four months out, but I can tell you that the last eight to ten weeks, uh, that's when they turn on the jets. That's when the diets get a little bit more rigorous. Uh, your training, uh, you step it up a notch. And if you're falling behind, you step it up two notches. Right. And at this point, you're eating very little carbs. Carbs are your energy. So you're trying to, it's like trying to reach uh, your destination with half a tank of gas when you really need three quarters of a tank of gas. Wow. So uh, yeah, it, it gets pretty uh, vigorous and uh, it, it takes a lot of mental willpower to keep going. There's a lot of times that myself and other athletes, they feel like throwing in the towel. And that's just a momentary lapse. Uh, of concentration. Uh, so as much as it is physical, uh, demanding physically, it's demanding psychologically. No, I could see that for sure. I mean, it, it's so easy for anybody just to, to, to think like, oh, I won't do that rep, that extra rep, or I just won't work out today, or I won't, you know, I'm going to go to the burger joint and eat poorly. <laughs> uh, but for, for what you guys do, it's, it's, it's so rigorous. Um, it's so much more of a mental game, just the willpower to push yourself to, to, to go through that. Tell me about the, the event itself. You mentioned the, the, the different categories the, the, that are there. Um, so people can sign up to this. They can still sign up for it now if they go to the, uh, to the website. Is that right? Yeah, the website is www.atlanticclassic.ca. There on the screen. And um, Jean will talk a little bit about the Gladiator Division. It's a new division that uh, he came up with uh, for this year, and uh, what we're trying to do is bring bodybuilding back to where it was years ago. Uh, it started to dwindle in numbers, and uh, we're hoping that doing the special event uh, will gain more awareness for the bodybuilding community and get them on stage. So I'll let Jean talk about that. See, bodybuilding was, uh, I mean, around here in the Atlantic provinces, uh, as much as there's numbers seem to be increasing, but bodybuilding itself, seem to have lost or had lost his zest or possess. Uh, the numbers were dwelling down like Heather just said. So um, this summer I was thinking what could we do to bring up bodybuilding to where it used to be. I'm not sure how I came up with this idea but I came up with this idea of, of having a division and calling it the gladiator division. And this division would be by invitation only. It would be the top bodybuilders in the Atlantic provinces that have either won an Atlantic championship or a provincial championship in the last 30 years or so uh, that would come together and compete against one another. So it's like an all-star show right, is what I you're like saying. Yes, exactly. like the best of the best the competing. Best of the best. Exactly. That is amazing. We sent out approximately 30 invites. Mm -hmm. uh, I was hoping to get six or eight. Uh, we're going to get 18. Wow. So That's it's amazing. It, and it's, it's really gone far beyond our expectations. Uh, there's a lot of people that are very interested in the drama that ha we have built around it. We kind of build it around in the same marketing uh, concept as, let's say, the WWE, right. where the bodybuilders are bashing each other respectively. Right, of course. right, right, of course. And just to play it up a little bit. The hype and, oh. and it's really taken a big following. I, I honestly believe that this class, um, for once, will be the highlight of the event. Uh, what's, uh, we only have a, a minute left, so j just really quickly, 
What's the, the difference? You're talking about the All-Stars. What's the difference in age there? Are we going to have some really young guys competing against them? Um, Absolutely. That's the beauty of it. We're going to have uh, men that are in their early 20s competing, uh, and there's three that are over 50 years old. Wow. And let's not count the three that are over 50 years old out because everybody's out to win the main uh, prize, which is instead of a trophy, we're giving out a gladiator sword. Oh, wow. That's so it's awesome. going to be a, an awesome night. <laughs>